What's going on, beautiful people of YouTube? It's Ring Bean. Welcome to another episode of Life of a Game Hunter slash Collector, the series I started up so I can give you guys a tidbit of what it's like to be a Game Hunter slash Collector. She deal with all the damn time. I've been putting this off for a while. I know a lot of you have heard about it, and I, I, I have no idea how many vlogs ago. But I have so much overstock, whether it's stuff that's been sitting on the shelf way too long with eBay or just all those games, those filler games that just, it makes the most economical sense to sell them at a flea market, you know, sell them as cheap as possible. I am not looking to get eBay prices for anything that I sell at the flea market. We're going to go through some of that stuff. This will probably be a pretty short episode of the vlog, simply for the fact that not only am I going to edit this video down so you got something to watch today, i got to do Sunday's video tomorrow, which I'm excited for. we got some good stuff to go through. Oh, I'm not looking forward to it. I've probably got four or five tubs, just huge tubs, whether it's full of games or just randomness. You're going to find out all the stuff that I got that's going to be at the flea market tomorrow. So I do this, you know, once or twice a year. It just helps me clear out stock that I can't. It's just taking up room here in the house. So anyways, guys, let's break our backs. So before I actually go out here and start pulling all the stuff and start loading up the vehicle for the flea market, I wanted to show you this because I don't think that I got footage of this. Simply, it's not video game related. Hell, I have no idea. It might be on there. I haven't done that video yet. This, I picked this up for five bucks. It's the Panasonic. What is it? The, uh, the train, what is it? A transcriptor. Turn it over so I can read this thing right. A transcriber. I'm sorry. I'm not too knowledgeable with the older electronic stuff, but you see something like this, you probably got something. And I, like I said, I picked this up for $5 and <laughs> I didn't know the price of what it, what it was worth. I went, you know, I, I was like, you know, I'll, I'll think about it. Went to the car and that's when I looked it up. I was like, okay, they can sell somewhere between 50 to 80 bucks in the box. That's nice. So I was like, well, let me go ahead and open this box up and see and make sure it has everything with it. Well, son of a bitch, it's, everything's new in there. It's all still wrapped cellophane. This thing's brand new definitely the uh the ticket of the day right there i was extremely happy to pick that thing up so that right there is definitely my home run for the yard sales this week oh my goodness that thing could go for anywhere from two to three hundred dollars in the condition it is the box i don't think is as important as the actual unit itself people still want to use them with it being brand new on the inside phenomenal so anyways i just wanted to tell you guys that i thought that was interesting Typically with older electronics, I usually avoid them. Just, they're, they're so hit or miss. And a, a lot of times it's, it's a lot more miss, especially on my end. There are some things that I know, but this, uh, luckily I went back to the car, looked it up and I was like, yeah, I probably don't want to pass that one up. So glad I didn't because that's definitely a good little hit right there. So anyways, let's check out what we're taking to the market. All right, guys, so I went ahead and pulled out the first two tubs and you'll pr you're probably thinking to yourself, well, you know, some of that stuff is worth money. Yes and no. Like to me, I'm not going to hold on to something for literally a year in my inventory, whether it's whatever platform I'm selling it, drop the price, drop the price, undercutting the next person by like 50% and it still just sits and does not sell. It's just not profitable to me. It's not worth my time. It's not worth the taxes to, to list it. So what I do is I take it down. I usually fill these tubs. I got two or maybe three tubs in the shop that we're going to go out, and that's where all the games are. You might find some stray games in here every so often. You know, like when I get back from hunting and then I have a bunch of extras, these are actually in the eBay storage room. It's just easier to throw it in there. What's in the, the shop is just bundles that I've pulled down. So, I mean, there's so many games. And, like, don't think that I'm going to be the person to be like, well, this game's three and this game's two. Every game is going to be, now this is how I usually do it. Like I said, I only do this two or three times a year. I start off and I say, any game you see, $2. Pick up two, you can have them for three. The deals just get better the more you buy. I'm, I am here to get rid of stuff, guys. I'm not here to nickel and dime people. It is easier. It is, like I said, a little bit more economical. It's, it's not worth the time to list all this stuff. I can just go down there, tax-free, sell all this stuff, one big lump. I have no idea how much money I'll make. Last time I did this, I think I made five or six hundred dollars. I don't know with the amount of stuff that I have. This time I got this tote, this tote, and two or three more. I might 
I am the type of person that other vendors hate whenever I go down there and sell because they'll be right beside me trying to get like, you know, top dollar for a lot of their stuff. And I'm just all like, man, take it. Get out of here with it. Go on with it. Like this doll right here. I think last time I looked this doll up, brand new, which this one is, it was selling for like $9 free shipping. That is not worth my time. These, these sit for quite a while. Not only that, $9 free shipping with whatever shipping is, I might be able to get away with first class in there, but there's possible damage to the box. I'm not just going to stick that in the bag and mail it. Someone who wants it is probably a collector. Get this gun. I'll sell this at the flea market for like two bucks, maybe even a dollar. I don't, I'm telling you, whenever it gets late in the day, I just want this stuff gone. And I had this idea and I told my wife about it. And a lot of you see in a lot of my hunting videos where I'm always talking to, uh, to this one guy at the flea market. I always give him, you know, always joke with him and all that he's a good guy a lot of this stuff whatever it doesn't sell i'm just going to give it to him and let him hold on to it because he sells there every week goes to storage units and he'll just have a bunch of inventory um so i'm sure he'll like that but i have no idea i don't even know what's all in here oh sh <laughs> things like that like this is cool but obviously especially now it's missing pieces i don't even think anybody's going to want to buy that there's probably pieces all over the place uh i think like complete and nice condition that thing was worth like twenty dollars not everything you pick up is going to be a gym. Things like can crushers. Uh, I, I could probably get uh, with that tape on the top. I don't know. Maybe a buck. Some vinyl. I have, honestly, guys, I have no idea what's all in here. Things that I've had on my shelf for the longest time. And they just haven't sold. See, here's more games. But I, I can probably guess that I have 150, maybe 200 games that I'm taking. Obviously, I'm not taking things, you know high end it's just a bunch of common titles filler titles and they're going to be dirt cheap like a requirement like almost to make anybody whenever they buy something from me if they bought you know two or three games i'm like well you have to pick out a sports game and take it with you get that shit out of here um and then like if, if they wanted sports games i don't know i mean like three four a buck i mean it's it's cheap stuff and i know some of you are out there probably like do a huge bundle make an auction i've done that ship it's it's not worth it the auctions usually go sour you start them high, they usually never sell. This is the best way to get rid of stuff, in my opinion, whenever you have a big accumulation of stuff that's just going to sit. I'm not going to go through this entire box. That would take way too damn long. Uh, and then this box, I don't know what I got on top here. Oh, my God. Oh. Fucking Jetson. Oh, man. I'm going to move that over there. That's, that's, that's probably not even going to go. Uh, well, I remember picking this up thinking that I wanted it forgetting the fact that these things smell terrible i don't know why that is some that there's some scientific subscriber out there why do these things have a weird smell whenever you cut them on but they're cool you know you put your hand up to them a little electric you know the little plasma whatever it is um i forgot how bad it smells so i'm gonna take that sell that thing for like three dollars i think i paid a dollar for it i'm not losing money on this stuff because i mean you know what i do i pick up stuff resell it uh, if I'm picking up lots and it's all, it's always never, you know, risk items. I just, I just pick the stuff up to go a Yobo two and one. I don't even know if that thing works. If somebody wants it, they can have it for a buck. I mean, things like that. I'm not a terrible person when it comes to reselling at a flea market. I am been on the other side of the table, obviously, as a lot of you guys know. So when someone comes up to me and they're like, what would you take for this? I'm like, make me an offer. Usually whatever the hell they say, I'm probably going to take it just because this stuff, I don't need it to come back with me. I got like Monopoly. It's called Catopoly. It's, it's a version of Monopoly, which variants of Monopolies are great to get. But the cat one, I've had that listed for like a year for like $15 free. I don't even know what I had it for. Stuff that's just been sitting. I don't know who buys this crazy stuff. I don't even know where I got all this stuff. It's just, it's been over like the past year of accumulating craziness. And when you see the games out there, like this is not the games, guys. I probably got, I don't know, there's like Super Nintendo games. Like it's probably sports titles. There might be, you know, one filler type title. Maybe even a Sega Saturn game in here too. But I think there's like so many PS2, PS1, Xbox. I just, oh, I'm not looking for, I got to take these out to the truck and load these in the back. Um, luckily, uh, we're, I'm going to take the PT Cruiser tomorrow. Had I took my, I can't take my Explorer because I got the subs in the back. Um, <laughs> which is funny. The last time that I went to the flea market and I had everything in the back, I was able to fit everything in the back, but that's when I had my 15s, my comp 15s back there, had that thing up. And then just some random dude comes by. He's like, how much you want for those speakers? I was like, man, make me an offer. And his offer just happened to be more than what I paid for it. So, man, well, let's go ahead and unhook them now. So, and I actually just downgraded after that. 
But I don't want to. I don't want to try to fit these four boxes. I'm gonna take the PT Cruiser. Mark. We're gonna load that thing up. The hell is this? Legend of the Silver Screen. I guarantee half this stuff people will pick up. I don't even know what the hell it is because Miss Reen Bean put a lot of stuff in here. She went through a lot of our inventory, and that's you got to keep in mind. Let's say I don't know what this is. It's it's what is this like a DVD or something? Let's say you listed this for. $7.99, $6.95, how about that, $6.95 free shipping, and I, depending on your store subscription, I have no idea what you pay in fees to list an item, now every month, you have to pay that same fee, it's not one time listing and it's done, it's every, every month, you'll end up paying more in fees when that's, when something like that sits for so long, you're actually paying eBay to list that on there, more than what you're going to get out of it. it, it's, it's just, it doesn't make sense, so a lot of this stuff I won't do, disc items, a two for a buck, and some people can get good deals. Now, a lot of this stuff, you're like, oh, Duke Nukem and all that. I'm going to tell everybody, like, if there's something special, I may have tried it. I may have tried to resurface it. Or it's just too scratched. I don't feel like it. All this stuff is obviously as is for the prices you're going to get it. I'm sure a lot of it works. But, hell, you might get a curveball in there. Let me go low. I'm, oh, my goodness. I'm going to break my back on this. Because <laughs> these boxes are heavy, man. These are, these are no joke right here. Um, this one's probably three and a half foot long. Oh my goodness. I'm going to load these. The games, the games, they weigh so much more. Oh my goodness, guys. Let me load these up. I'll show you what we got in the other boxes. All right, guys. I'm out here in the shop sweating like crazy. I had to move my mower over here just to pull everything out. And I think it's, I'm just, I think I'm just going to take the one tote. This thing, I don't even, I don't even know how I got this or what it is, but it looks like $3 at the flea market to me. Um, this right here, what is this, that, that Spongebob DVD player, it's never tested, it doesn't appear to be in the greatest shape, man, give me three bucks. Uh, things like that, I mean, I could clean that up, maybe make ten or fifteen, but I'm not, I'm not, I got too many projects as it is. This whole entire tub is slap full of games, I mean, it is slap full of games, and there's a bunch of filler, there's a, I'm sure there's a bunch of sports, but I'm telling you, I'm gonna have all this set up fairly nicely, and you'd be able to dig through two dollars a piece you know two for three i'm people are gonna pick up some games i mean there's some decent titles in here uh bag look at this bag right here shlabam of just loose disc games the, just stuff that's not worth my time i'm done with it i need to i need to focus on bigger heavier items this whole tub right here this i don't even know how many tables i'm gonna need uh typically it's 15 dollars a table the additional table's five bucks i might get three or four i don't know depends on how all this stuff starts to stack out I might leave like all the sports games just off to the side and tell people put like a sign it's like three for a buck and take one every time you buy something. Uh, and this, you know, a lot of people may be looking at this and cringing me like, oh, you can make so much more money if you do this and this and this. I got bigger, bigger fish to fry. This is just stuff that's just overstock. When you do what I do, when you deal with all this, you know, when it comes to game hunting, you end up with a bunch of the stuff like this, and it's just easier to once or twice a year go down there and make you five, six hundred dollars. Maybe more, maybe less, and just get it gone. Be cheap. Like I said, I'll start things off super cheap. I'll be like $2 a game, two for three. And then as the day goes, it'll probably be like a dollar, then two for a dollar. Just get the stuff gone. And then whatever I have left, just end up giving it to uh, my buddy. This tub over here, I thought about taking it. You'll see it actually says flea market toys, because believe it or not, before I started selling online, I used to sell at the flea market fairly regularly. And we would order these online. I mean, you, you can order this stuff directly from China. Get it dirt cheap. I'm talking like, you know, pennies on the dollar. And sell this stuff. None of this stuff is actually worth, you know, a whole lot of money. A dollar or two a piece. But they're, you know, I might actually take some of these things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember picking these up. The uh, Switchblade uh, combs right here. I, what, did I, what did we sell those for? Son of a bitch. Four dollars, they look like two dollar items to me. So I'll probably pull out a bunch of this stuff that, that was that was really cool and just, just sell it if I can. This whole whole tub is full of that stuff. So anyways guys, this is it. This is all I got. I gotta I gotta pull all this stuff into the um, into the uh, the PT cruiser. And then I'm, unfortunately the vlog's not gonna show you selling because it's Saturday. I'm gonna be selling tomorrow and I gotta finish up Sunday's video today. So I'll give you an update on the next vlog on how it went. So anyways guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the episode. Wish me luck and as always, take care. Enjoy the rest of your day.